So, I am answering the question about gas retention, that they are volatile. They need to be constantly refilled. Gas is diffused through the envelopes, and this is expensive. Helium is expensive. There are modern envelopes, and even, one could say, outdated ones from the previous generation, that allowed an airship to be filled once and not have to think about it for at least the next month. There are percentage figures for these leaks, even taking into account the envelopes of the previous generation, and they amount to just a few percentage points of the total volume over a sufficiently long period of time, indeed. And if we look at it from an economic perspective, how much will it cost to refuel the airship with helium and for its overall operation, for example, checking the engine and other aviation systems, there's a lot to consider. Just like you take your car for maintenance, the same goes for the airship. It undergoes maintenance and is refueled with helium. The cost of maintenance does not even reach 10% of the total operating cost. That is, there are again some units of percentage, and this is all taking into account materials that are not even modern, but from the previous generation. Modern materials are even more economical, and gas does not diffuse through them as actively anymore. This applies to helium. Hydrogen is more fluid, but it is also cheaper. In fact, there isn't really a problem with helium. Helium is expensive. Helium is expensive. That's true. It trades at a high price in the markets. But we have plenty of helium in the country. Its production and manufacturing will only increase significantly. Furthermore, with the same helium producers and distribution, it is possible to achieve almost like a barter system. They have a big question about how to deliver this helium in liquid form to consumers from up there, from the north, specifically, for example, to countries in Asia and to the seas in particular. In general, it is necessary to transport it directly because, after all, storing this liquid helium in dewer vessels leads to evaporation. A system is needed too. In general, quite complex logistics and a very good solution have emerged specifically in combination with airships, where the airship takes dewer vessels and transports them directly from the production site to the consumer. And if we provide such a service to helium producers, helium will be free for us Modern materials will help us retain it extremely effectively, so, my dear friends, let's stop thinking about it too much. These are not the significant expenses and not the economic issues that should be associated with airship construction. Thank you very much indeed.